Good morning, Verde Vikings. Today is day 2B, the Fine Arts Schedule, Friday, October 7th, 2022. My name is Miguel. And I'm Ethan, your co anchor. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Happy birthday to Anehara V, Dylan B, Alexis H, Luca G, Rebecca D, Aubrey L, Fitzgerald D, and Gabriella J. Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Sale, be accountable. Go to class when the bell rings. Today's weather will be a high of 85 and a low of 75 degrees. That's pretty cold. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's been getting colder lately. Make sure to bring your jacket. Yeah. Funny Friday. What do you call a can opener that doesn't work? I don't know. What do you call a can opener that doesn't work? A can opener. Did you hear about the guy who created knock-knock jokes? Nope, never heard of the guy who created knock-knock jokes. He won a Nobel Prize. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about the claustrophobic astronaut? No, I didn't even know astronauts could be claustrophobic. He just needed some space. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Today is National Pretzel Day. Fun fact. The pretzel is long considered a good luck symbol due to its religious roots. Do you prefer New York and pretzels, like the big soft ones, or the snack pretzels, the ones you get in bags? Uh, probably New York pretzels. I heard they're delicious. Yeah, same here. Like, you get peanut butter. Yeah. It's really good. Today in history, poet writer Edgar Allan Poe died at the age 40. Edgar Allan Poe was born in 1809 and died in 1849 because of a disease called rabies. Rabies are caused by an animal bite. He was best known for his poetry and short stories, particularly his tales of mystery. That's a dark death. Yeah. Would you rather lose your sense of taste or lose your sense of smell? What about you? Oh, probably lose your sense of smell because if I lost my taste, that wouldn't be good. I don't yeah, know. same here. Need some advice? Put a note in the box in the media center to ask questions about problems you're having a difficult time solving. Our VTV crew will try to answer your question with some helpful advice. We have a question here for you today. Ethan, would you like to read it? Oh, uh, sure. Alright. It says, A kid in my class keeps taking my birdie money, only when no one's looking, like at bus time. I told the teacher, but he's not giving it back. What could you do? What do you think? Uh, I think you should probably put your fee bucks in a safer place. Or maybe you should tell the teacher. Maybe even write your name on the V-Books and Pencil. Yeah, you should definitely write your name on your yeah. mind, so. Announcements. Fired up sports and cheer, mind games at room 134, and fry yay for staff in the lounge. Booster Thon. Today, PTCA will announce the two classes with the most pleasures. They will win a dandy donut party. 
The class with the most pledges by the last day, which is October 13th, will win a, will win a pizza party. Woo! Yeah! Good luck. Mm-hmm. And now we have our Boosterthon video of the day. What is that? Oh, bad news. The storm last night took out part of the railing on the steepest side of Cliff Ridge Trail. The steepest side of Cliff Ridge Trail? <sighs> yeah, it's way up there. You know it. And um, honestly, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna need some help. Are you um free in an hour to give me a hand? Uh, I, I, I don't think so, Ranger Johnny. I have a lot to do, and I I I don't I don't what? do heights. I don't. Oh, our adventurers are back. Welcome to the Booster Ranger Station. Ranger Johnny here. And Ranger Sarah here. Okay, adventurers. Who out there is ready for another day to gear up for your booster program? Oh, they're ready. And if you already got a donation to help your school, way to go! And if you haven't already, that's totally cool. You still have plenty of time to help. Ranger Sarah, can you tell us what the plan is for today? Ooh, it's time for the Who Can Your Family Ask For A Donation From Pictionary. And I love this game. I don't know about you, Ranger Johnny, but it's one of my personal favorites. I love this game too, Ranger Sarah. Okay, timer on the clock. Ready, set, go! Friend! Neighbor! Teacher! Grandparent! Parents' co-worker! Your pests! I need your pet! Oh, nice job! Now, adventurers, with your family, brainstorm people who would want to help your school. Then, go directly to mybooster.com and add their email or share by text. Easy peasy. Now it's time to see what happens next in our Grandland Adventure story. I'm so jealous. Grandpa got to work in Yosemite. I've always dreamed of seeing the sunset from the inspiration point. Well, you should see a sunset from Horsetail Falls. When the sun is just right, it looks like a waterfall of fire. Grandma, do you think Grandpa buried the treasure in Yosemite? No, he did love that place. Hey, quiet down. We'll be starting. Right now, we're standing at the foot of a 3,000 foot high granite monolith known as El Capitan. When it comes to climbing, El Cap has become a rite of passage for climbers from all over the world. The first ascent in 1958 took 47 days. From the meadow below, you can still see modern day climbers scaling the massive wall. Welcome to Yosemite National Park. Yosemite is best known for its waterfalls, granite cliffs, deep valleys, grand meadows, giant sequoias, and much more. But lesser known is the fact that Yosemite was central to the development of the national park idea. John Muir, the famous naturalist and explorer, led a successful movement to have Congress establish a larger national park by 1890, paving the way for the national park system. Of the four million visitors each year, most spend their time in Yosemite Valley. At only eight miles long and one mile wide, this incredible valley packs some breathtaking scenery, from the huge spray of Vernal Falls to the dazzling heights of Glacier Point. Virtually every feature of Yosemite is a showstopper. One of the things that makes Yosemite so unique and so amazing is the large number of waterfalls and granite formations. The most iconic is Half Dome, 8,800 feet of towering granite. To hike to the top is a 14-mile round trip that gains nearly 5,000 feet in elevation 
and takes about 10 to 12 hours. Whether you're taking in the breathtaking views atop Glacier Point or scaling the formidable cables of Half Dome, this part requires a deep well of courage and fortitude. So what character trait does this part teach us? What character trait do you think Yosemite has to teach us? Always use a rope while climbing El Cap? Unless your name is Alex Honnold. Grandpa said the park draws something out of you. Requires courage, not for the faint of heart. I think I got it. It's bravery. That has to be it. Bravery is about facing up to your fear. It's having the mental or moral strength to face danger, fear, or difficulty. Exactly. Whether you're afraid of heights, horses, or history tests, bravery is about moving forward in spite of your fear. I mean, for some, it could just be tackling something new, like a subject or making a new friend. So Yosemite taught Grandpa how to live with bravery? Epic. Nice. I wonder what part we're going to visit next. Wow, Yosemite. It taught their grandpa to live with bravery. So inspiring. Yeah. Moving forward in spite of your fears. That's exactly it. All right, it's time for another Grand Land Adventure cheer. Are you ready? Oh, born ready. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Grand Land Adventure. Woo. OK, Ranger Johnny. Yes? I think I'm going to help you with the safety rail. Really? Yeah. <sighs> Moving forward in spite of your fears. I'm proud of you. I can do it. Let's do it. Well, farewell, farewell adventurers. adventurers.